and i welcome all of you once again to the lesson number 8 our skeletal system and the skin so let's revise once again whatever we have learnt in the last lecture so as you know that student who are exactly providing shape and support to our body so may i know who are providing shape and support to our body so we have learnt already in the last lecture that the bones which are present in our body they are providing shape to our body and because of the bones which are present in our body different type of the organs which are present inside they are getting protection am i right so you already know that there are total 300 bones are present in the child and in adult there are total 206 bones are present so there are so many bones which are present in our body am i right so all these bones they comes together and they form our body skeletal system so the total bones when they come together they form the skeletal system so now i hope so you must have understood what do you exactly mean by the skeletal system and what is the basic function of the skeletal system these skeletal system they are different in different different animal and basic function of this skeletal system is to provide the shape and structure to the animal and at the same time as i told you there are many soft organs are present in our body like let's say for example brain heart and lungs etc so these soft organ are very important for us and they need protection so these soft organs they are protected by bones which are present in our body so they are called as what skeletal system and most importantly on side the bone if you have seen that there is a loading of the muscles so the muscles which are present on the bones and this outermost covering of the part the outermost covering of our body we call it as what skin so the skin is the outermost covering of our body so now i hope so students you must have understood the difference between this skeletal system and this skin and most importantly you all know that uh, what are bones are made up of so basically we have discussed already bones are made up of two components that is living component and non living component the living component we call it as biotic i told you this is a new science word okay and non living component we call it as what abiotic component so non living is the abiotic component and living is the biotic component so in biotic category bone cells comes so you know that whole body is made up of living cell so if whole body is made up of cell then of course bones are part of a body then bones are also made up of living cell so the bone cells which are present in our body they are called as what biotic and the non living component of the bones are calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals salt they are the abiotic constitute of the bones abiotic means what they are non living and do you know that student the calcium which is present in our body it provides strength to the bones if you feel that imparting word it is becoming too difficult for you then you can use a simple word as a impart so this calcium which is present in our body it is providing strength to the bone you know na bones are very hard they are very strong so the strongness of our bones and the strongness of our teeth as well it is just because of the calcium which is present in our body understood now what we have learned in the last lecture and one more thing students you must have noticed that sometimes when you pl while playing you fell down okay sometime accidents might occur and during accidents you must have seen that sometime uh, our uh, leg gets broken our hand also gets broken and that time our broken part of our hand or leg it hurts a lot it pains a lot am i right so that time you must have seen that the broken part of our leg or the broken part of our hand as well okay it causes a lot of pain 
and do you know that why this pain occurs the pain mostly occurs because of the broken bone the broken bone it causes severe pain in our body and the broken bone it is called as what fracture what we call it as fracture you must have heard this fracture word a lot of time am i right so the fracture in simple language we say as a broken bone so when bone gets broken as i told you it causes unbearable pain and the part of the bone which is broken it swells immediately okay and at that time students always remember that whenever your leg or hand gets broken or it gets fractured you have to immediately consult the doctor so when you consult the doctor immediately you must have seen no kind like this the uh, plaster has been put on the fractured part correct so when we do the plaster doctor advises us to immobilize what do you mean by immobilize immobilize means what you have to keep it steady immobilize means what steady you don't have to move it here and there because if you move your leg and hand here and there then it will again cause a lot of pain so that's why always remember that doctor does the fracture so that you can immobilize it and at the same time you must have noticed that we have to know now where exactly the fracture part is there so you must have noticed most of the time doctor ask you to get the x ray done immediately suppose if your leg is fracture doctor ask you to do the leg x ray if your hand is fracture then doctor ask you to get the hand x ray so why we do the x ray basically so from x ray image we comes to know that which part of the bone is broken from the x ray image we immediately come to know which part of the bone is broken and we come to know the exact spot where it is broken so that once we know where the bone is broken we can provide immediate treatment to that part only let's say for example if your knee, uh, knee is broken then plaster will be providing to the knee part only are you getting my part suppose if your ankle is uh, broken okay then only ankle bone will get plastered not whole leg it is impossible so why we take x ray basically the x ray image is taken to get the exact location of the broken bone so once we know where exactly broken bone is there so that we can provide the immediate treatment understood now students what is x ray and why we take the x ray okay and most importantly students as you know that there are many bones which are present in our body as i just told you in adult in us there are total 206 bones are present isn't it too much okay so all bones which are present in our body they are not of same shape they all are of different different shape am i right so all these bones which are present in our body they make our framework okay and there are certain bones which are present in our body they are very hard like you can see that finger bones or hand bone okay or our skull also it is very hard am i right but again there are certain bones which are present in our body they are very soft like let's say for example put, put your hand on your nose so this nose it is very soft it is not that much hard am i right even put your hand in your ears even there is a part which is uh, like soft bone okay so there are certain soft bones which are present in our body and those soft bone which are present in our body we call them as what cartilage what we call them as cartilage so remember there are hard bone also and there are soft bone also so basically soft bone is present at the nose and at the ear so we call them as what cartilage understood so cartilage as well as the bones when together comes they form the framework or they form the skeleton understood students what i told you cartilage is the soft bone so all the bones all bones along with the cartilage they form the framework or skeleton and this skeleton provide
right stick to our body and structure to our body now did you understand what do you exactly mean by the skeleton what do you exactly mean by the framework etc okay and as i told you there are many type of the bone which are present in our body so basically if you see there are four type of the bone which are present in our body depending upon its shape depending upon shape the bones are classified into four category the first category of the bone is that you can see here flat bones what is the first category over here flat bone flat bone means what we will see that one by one okay so now from name only you must be understood what do you exactly mean by the flat bone okay the bone which is flat we call it as what flat bone okay and most importantly the second one which we call it as what small bones there are many bones which are present in our body which are in the smaller size which are in smaller shape the small bones they are called as what small bone as the name suggest okay and the third category of the bone which is present in our body we call them as what irregular bone what do you mean by irregular uh the bone which doesn't have the specific shape the bone which doesn't have the specific shape we call it as what irregular bone understood and at the same time most importantly there is one more type of the bone which is present in our body we call it as what long bone got it what i told you here so let's revise once again whatever we have learned today we have learned that there is a skeletal system which is present in our body which provides shape and structure and again it is providing protection to the delicate organ which are present in our body and our bones are made up of two component biotic component and abiotic component biotic component that is bone cells and abiotic component are calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salt and basically calcium is providing strength to the bone it is providing uh, rigidity to the bone as well and you must have noticed that while playing we fail uh, we fail down so that time our hand gets broken our leg gets broken and immediately we consent to the doctor so sometime our bone gets broken so that broken part of the bone the broken part of the bone we call it as what fracture what is fracture broken part of our bone okay and when fracture occurs we does the x ray why do x ray because x ray gives us the exact spot where the fracture occurred so that we can provide the proper treatment so what is the treatment for fracture plaster so plaster is the best treatment for the fracture bone so that it can heal immediately and what we learned just now we learned that depending upon the shape and the structure the bones are classified into four category flat bone small bones irregular bone and the long bone understood so these are the four variety of the bones which are present in our body from head to toe so where these bones are present what are their function all that thing we will learn in the next session one by one so we'll stop here we will see you in the next session okay bye bye take care